before we get to high noon. 78 degrees. That's pretty much our high temperature for the day. No chance of rain near perfect weather out there. Right, Karen? Yeah, you've been giving us good weather lately, Kevin. It's all on me. <laughs> all on me. I'm going to be, everybody's been nice to me today. So tomorrow, another nice day in store. Thank you. For all of our fans out there. And then only a 30% chance of rain over the weekend, mostly in the form of an afternoon scattered shower or two. <laughs> no, but, no, uh, no. Paul says oh, I'm sorry. No. no chance of rain no, at no. all on Saturday. <laughs> uh, Paul Slava is here with us. He's canceled the rain that was scheduled for Saturday. There's really, there wasn't going to be any real serious rain. It's, it's one of these things. You know, we're getting close to summertime, and Paul's been around here for a long time. He knows this. And so we have to do the slight chance of an afternoon shower. <laughs> I know the magical bubble over... Um, over St. Augustine Beach, and that's, I'm sorry, it has its own weather system, and it's always <laughs> sunny, and it's yeah. always beautiful. That is true, actually. It's true. Like, rain will just, like, come around, and then it stops exactly. at St. Augustine Beach. It'll they make just, the clouds out west. Yeah, <laughs> it pours all over us here on State Road 16, and they're <laughs> right. sitting there hanging in their beach chairs over at St. Augustine Beach in the 32080 so, hey, you brought along a special guest who's been I, on the radio I did. With us. Um, this has just been so great from the start. Um, it just makes sense. Uh, plus, it's been the most just greatest collaboration I think the art studios had. And, uh, God, you know, we operate out of their, their building, basically. It's a city-owned building. But we have Melinda Conlon here, who is the events coordinator for uh, St. Augustine Beach. And, uh, boy, I'm telling you, I think everything we collaborated on um, – has just been turning, I mean, it's so successful that it turns into an annual event, um, which, you know, um, the beach art walks, and uh, there's been multiple ones of those, and all the great holiday events, and uh, this one coming up in particular, um, this is already our second annual, yeah. and to add to that, which I love, and I'll have Melinda talk more about that, but as a branding advertising guy, I just said, art in the park, okay, but with dogs, right, uh, pet adoption, uh, pet rescue, art and bark in the park i'm like oh that's, <laughs> that's, that's that's awesome that's an advertiser's dream so it's great branding but uh yeah. that's the uh and, and it was all melinda's idea yes and i thought perfect 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 and uh it's just a beautiful setting anyways filled with artists food vendors really nice music but now we got animals in there and it's a dog friendly event anyway so it makes sense uh some of the artists that are very dog friendly and they're almost like uh, tailoring their art to accommodate that too, because they're all animal lovers and, and dog lovers in particular. And uh, right down to one of our vendors who has shaved ice and offers pup cups. We'll talk about that a little later, but I never even know those existed. They, they're flavors that any dog would love. Milk bone. And, uh, <laughs> right. we'll, 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 we'll get into it, but uh, yeah, I'll let uh, Melinda take it from here. Yeah. So Melinda, when is this event? It is Saturday, April 30th from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Whoa, Lake that's Sidewalk. this Saturday. Yes, it is. See? Magic. So the weather yeah. will hold out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll be beautiful. Yeah. yeah, chance of rain just went down to zero with that. So. <laughs> now, that there, now that there's going to be dogs there, there will be no rain whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely. And it starts at what time? 12 o'clock. And goes on until when? 5 p.m. And dogs are invited. We have two <laughs> local rescue groups. We have mm. A-List Acres mm -hmm. and Swamp Haven okay. that will both be bringing uh, dogs that are available for adoption. Mm, and then they will also good. have books and information on dogs that are available for adoption that aren't are not going to be at the event. You can only have so many dogs outside for yeah. so many hours. So. Understood. Yep. So dogs and art. That's dogs pretty good, art. right, Paul? I, I love it. I mean, come and on. Music and, and music and food. It's, it's really, I mean, the way the last one went to, everyone just said immediately... While it was going on and even when it was over, when's the next one? When's yeah. the next one? Because it was just that old town sort of art fair type yeah. of atmosphere. It's great music playing in the background uh, to a backdrop of a beautiful park setting, a lakeside park. It's a little more of a pond, I would say, but <laughs> it's beautiful. It's filled with all kinds of wildlife and yeah. critters and uh, people walk their dogs usually through there. And there's great sculptures without, it's like the, uh, um, God, basically the, 22nd anniversary of it uh, opening up or the 21st anniversary um, where it was dedicated and all, all the uh, the sculptures were in place. So just a great place to just walk anyways. But then yeah. now it's filled with art, artists, and then, you know, dogs, and it's real family friendly. And uh, I'm telling you, grab yourself a bite to eat, have some shaved ice. Oh my God, that's a treat. 
and they put all kinds of things on there. And now they got one for your dog. There and you go. Uh, yeah, and some great flavors. Cool. And so uh, the event once again this Saturday, <clears throat> and the location is Melinda. It's Lakeside Park in San Augustine Beach. It's better known as either Veterans Memorial or Sculpture Garden. Okay, right next door to City Hall. Yeah, two yes. three four zero A one A um South. Yeah, San it's Augustine Beach City Hall. Yeah, behind yeah. the the police station. Yeah. Right okay, there. there you go. So. Well, we encourage you to go out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk more about this. We've got Paul Slava here with us. Melinda's here from the city of St. Augustine Beach as well. In the meantime, you can always check out what's going on with the St. Augustine Beach Art Studio by going to beachartstudio.org. That's beachartstudio.org. We'll be back. Well, something to make you happy on Saturday, the opportunity to purchase art, adopt a dog, and eat shaved ice <laughs> all at the same in time. One handy location. How can you do all those three <clears throat> things, Paul Slava, and not have you, a smile on you your face? You come this Saturday to Art and Bark in the Park and just find out for yourself. A backdrop of just a beautiful lake, art, artists, and those beautiful dogs. Um, it's very pet friendly, too. I mean, come uh, just to get there, too. There's plenty of parking uh, with the, uh, right in the city hall. Uh, but plenty of people yep. last year even did road bikes, walk. Yep, I mean, it's absolutely. in the, it's in the neighborhood, uh, so it's great. And uh, like I said, you could bring the whole family. There's so, we even have face painting for kids. We do. Um, yeah. It, uh, what's her name? Um, Shauna sure. Mayer. Shauna Mayer is going to be doing face painting. She's done it at some previous events. Yep. And um, so just, you know, something for everyone. Yeah. And uh, the band is Remedy Tree. I don't know if people okay. are... are have you heard of them? Uh, uh, I've heard of them. Okay. Yeah. I haven't heard I got, them We've got a little snippet. We do have a Facebook page, Art in the Park, and uh, you could definitely go there and see more information about each individual you know, person and everything being there. In fact, I was just strolling it, and I finally did get the little menu for the Pup Cups, and I just think this is just hilarious. They're $5, very affordable for the doggy treat. Shave ice, but it's with chicken broth flavor, whipped cream, or milk bone. Mm. I mean, what dog wouldn't love wow. them? Get a mixture good, of all of them. They'd probably eat every one together. Can <laughs> people eat them? Can people eat them? You can eat them, Karen. We're not, not going to be judging. You, you can ask them. I don't know about that milk <laughs> bone flavor for me, yeah. but with whipped cream broth. sounds good. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty hilarious. Broth. Sounds awesome. <laughs> but think of how many people could go there and find their forever friend, right? Yeah. They could exactly. adopt a pet. Yeah. So will there be art for sale there, too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone, yeah. everyone that comes, all the artists, please, they, they do. And, and in fact, everyone did very well last year. And they yes. just said mm-hmm. immediately, like, if you're having another one, please keep me signed up. So we'll have a lot of returning artists, but a lot of new ones, too. I like that. A lot of good new faces. Uh, most of them, too, coming from the art studio. Um, so that's really great. Our, we got a chance to have our members like do these extra events and they just love it. It's like a, yep. a really good perk of membership and uh, they could bring out more of their stuff. They're only allowed a couple of pieces in our studio, but here you could see their whole collection. And of course it's all for sale, but again, yep. very affordable prices. We don't keep any of their proceeds. Uh, we have a small little registration fee. Yep. <clears throat> That's just to keep them honest, and then uh, <laughs> they keep one hundred percent of their uh, of their uh, sales. So, yeah. and Melinda, once again, the event is it's on Saturday, April thirtieth. That's from, this Saturday. It is the Saturday <laughs> from twelve p.m. to five p.m. Twelve until five, and of course, your dog, of course, is invited because there's actually special treats. I would imagine if a dog, your dog is standing in front of a work of art from one of our great local artists and the tail wags at least twice, you've got to purchase it, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, a, that's a paw up, yeah. Yeah, yeah paw up. So <clears throat> take advantage of that. This Saturday, noon until 5 o'clock, and of course this is going to take place where, Melinda? It's at Lakeside Park, which is 2340 A1A South. Yeah, right there at St. Augustine Beach City Hall oh. where the Sculpture Garden is. I think Paul made reference to that and where the St. Augustine Beach Police are located. We'll right. be back. So we've got another Paul with us, too. Paul Slava is here. Good afternoon, Paul. How hey, are how are you doing? It's always great being here, Kevin. Yeah, and uh, We appreciate Paul. Paul's yeah. with us, of course. Karen from our team is here. Melinda's here from the city of St. Augustine Beach. But let's yeah. talk really quickly, though, about the Beach Art Studio, which, of course, is going to go on. Not only, of course, you guys are big participants in this event coming up Saturday between noon and 5 over on the beach or at uh, Lakeside Park at the beach. But you always have stuff going on, right? We do. That's what we're about. We're not just a just a, like a gallery. We're not just a studio. We're many things. And uh, I always like that. The, you know, being a living, breathing, just moving machine, having events and everything. It's really a perk of membership. Um, like I said, a lot of our members uh, took advantage of this. And they're going to be showing there. Um, Melinda, what do we have, about 20 or something artists? Uh, yeah, I think we have there. about 22, 23 artists. Yeah, so you're going to get a varied uh, array in there, mostly local. And uh, mostly uh, everything local. from, like, you know, paintings, again, all original paintings, stained glass, jewelry, ceramics. 
I mean, we're just going to have a wide range photography. of photography and yep. a lot of it too suited to when they heard about this bark, you know, the bark section in the park, um, they're suiting there's animal lovers so she's going to bring out all of her great dog stuff i think she will even offer like to do dog portraits and things like that too so uh yeah there's just a lot of our artists that were very excited about very excited. the whole dog aspect yeah yeah we even have a vendor coming somebody new this year who um it's dog kerchiefs and it's velcro um bandanas for dogs I so love <laughs> there you, go. you know with i think your favorite sports teams and <clears throat> things like that so That'll be kind of fun to see. Yeah, affordable enough to, to get it. a few, like seasonal and right. everything, a special occasion. <laughs> Great <laughs> gifts. Great yeah. gifts. Yeah. Right. So the event, once again, takes place this Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful Saturday. And, of course, from noon until 5 o'clock. And where is it again? It is at Lakeside Park, which is 2340 A1A South. And it's basically right behind the um, St. Augustine Beach police department building it's a place that some people just drive by and drive through because it's kind of hidden a little bit this time don't drive by stop by we're going to try and have a little signs there or whatever but god what you'll be coming back just to take your dog for a walk or just take a stroll um a lot of people just hang out by the dock because there's filled with ducks and I've, I've, you've seen some playful otters there one time too, or something like that, didn't you, uh, Melinda? I've seen a playful yeah. gator there, <laughs> yeah. and, and that yeah. too. Yeah. But so they, they, they all live the together, gators. don't they? Yeah. yeah. No, but a lot of people come and feed the ducks. I mean, always the and, turtles uh, yeah. and the turtles. Yes. Yeah, lots they're of turtles, known for their yeah. turtles. But a lot of people also refer to this. It's Lakeside Park, but most people think of it as either Veterans Memorial or Sculpture Garden is sort of the popular right. name. So. Right. Yeah, there's a big uh, Veterans Day. In fact, when we, we hold our uh, right Veterans Day um, service there, there's a little uh, a to-do there on Veterans Day, right? Right. Yeah. All right. right. Well, once again, that's this Saturday from noon until 5 o'clock. We're going to come back and wrap things up with Paul and Melinda, so stay tuned. Yeah, Melinda's yeah, yeah. here, too, at the City of St. Augustine Beach. They always have things going on at the City of St. Augustine Beach. And, of course, you can always keep up with the city. They're very active on social media, right? They can follow you on Facebook. Absolutely. Yeah, so do that. In addition... Uh, the, of course, St. Augustine Beach Art Gallery is also on social media, right, Paul? We are, yes, under the art studio. Very, very easy to find us. You'll find that iconic building is our logo. So many folks that are listening, uh, you're local or maybe you're visiting us and you're wondering, gosh, where can I find local art? And we have some amazing local artists who have decided to come live in paradise. And Absolutely. You get to see their works at the gallery. And how much does it cost to go in there every day? Zero. No way. <laughs> A smile, maybe. No way. <laughs> And I have this image that the, your art gallery, Paul, is not like one well, you know, we might find on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. It's not going to be very stuffy. They're not going to tone no, us not. in, right? We're at the beach. We got the beach in our name. And people come in. I mean, sometimes I'll make fun of them. This gentleman came in very brave and boldly, not wearing a shirt. And I said, hey, you didn't have to get all dressed up just to come in here. This ain't no fancy you know, right. studio or whatever. And he looked at me puzzled, but then chuckled. Uh, but yeah, that's we get at that a lot of times. We got people coming in without shoes and going, um, can we come in here like this? I go, that's at your own risk. <laughs> I right. said, but, but of course, and we're very dog friendly. We have a bowl right there for doggies. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's we're on the beach. We have to sweep half the beach out every day. Yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, I would think more so than any art gallery in America, you you vacuum the most. <laughs> yeah, right. it, would, it would probably that, break the most yeah. vacuums. We and do and a lot now of that, you guys are like literally. When people say, hey, we're on the beach, you know, yeah, you can be on the beach. But if you are the St. Augustine Beach Art Gallery, you are on the beach. Literally, yeah. I mean, you Literally. see but what people volunteering for is the first thing I say is, hey, it's not a bad gig. You're sitting by the ocean, by the sea, talking about art for five hours. I said, I'll do that standing in my head. It's a, it's a great, great day at the office uh, when yeah. you're doing that. But well, um, um, yeah. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, I said, not only is it a city owned building, but it's managed by the Cultural Council. Okay. Um, and uh, they're also involved in some of these events. They're sponsoring the music, and they're involved in all of our other events. So uh, thank you, Cultural Council, for being just great partners, as well as the city of St. Augustine Beach. Well, we encourage you to stop by the St. Augustine Beach Art Studio and Gallery. I'm going to let Paul give you the hours and all that here in just a moment. But what we also wanted to make sure you heard, uh, knew about, especially if you just hopped in your vehicle, a big event taking place this Saturday. Paul, explain it one more time quickly. Oh, it is the Art and Bark in the Park event, our second annual, but we included the bark. This is this Saturday, April 30th, from 12 to 5 at Lakeside Park. It is 2340 A1A South in this beautiful park. 
and come on out. It's in two days, guys. So yeah, Once you can again, make it. Noon until five, and that park is located in Melinda. Where? How do you explain it to people? Um, I say it's so it's Lakeside Park, but it's known as Sculpture Garden or the Veterans Memorial Park, and it's right behind the St. Augustine Beach Police Department. Yeah, so. Make and sure you can, you're there. And right? you can park at City Hall. Yeah. And if you can't make it this Saturday to that great event where the artists will have all their works, of course, stop by the Beach Art Studio. Noon until 5 daily, right? Noon until 5 daily. And we got a first Friday coming up, May 6th. Uh, beautiful. One of our first Friday events. We're part of that. And we'll have a brand new artist every time highlighted. And a new musical guest, another debut, Olivia Matos. Oh, she's a singer, songwriter, very young, up and coming. And... Uh, I think that'll be her springboard, and we'll be going, wow, we had her first. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Paul and Melinda, thank you for coming by. Good luck with the event on Saturday, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Kevin.